Thank you, Sally, for visiting Ontarians and special guests we have with us today. Welcome, everyone. Also, so it's nice to have a microphone. Okay, we have three visiting returns. Two visiting returns, one very heavily involved, and two guests. Let's start off all the way from the Irving Sunrise Club, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, glad to have you here, Tom. Is that Sunrise when you have a breakfast club there? This is kind of late for you to be eating. All the way from the Metroport Club, Susie Black, Susie, where are you? Raise your hand. Oh, we're over here. Okay. And our honorary uh, member, Peggy Smith. And we have a guest, Peggy Lace. Luke, okay. Would you like to say something about it? That's 
siblings, um, that she is going to be facing about 40 months of chemo and a surgery and then radiation. But they're very positive about that, and so the outcome is good, and so we want to continue to keep both of them in our thoughts and prayers. And for those of you who uh, know and remember John Gordy, who was a member of our club for many years, uh, John's wife, Louise, has uh, had an aneurysm in the past week, and he's um, a bleeding vessel still, so they're probably going to be doing surgery, but it looks pretty bad, so we want to keep John and Louise in our thoughts and prayers. So that's a tough thing to go through. Today we will be having the first reading of board approved the membership application for Daryl Brown. Is Daryl what is that? Do you think you're going to see him? I don't think he is. He was here last week. So Daryl Brown has been approved by the board of membership. This is his first reading, and then obviously the second reading will be next week. And then um, we have just a few minutes on the introduction of Daryl. Are there any good news dogs? Anything that we want to talk about a little bit? We need some good news. Anybody got any? We've already humiliated her now in public, so she's not going to Okay, and more. Who's not here? Uh, 
Uh, her classification will be sales management. And when she was asked about one or two words describing her personality, she said that she's caring and nice and love of her and enthusiastic. Let's all stand in her for
of you have made a purchase because of referral. Referral from friend, colleague, family, and so forth. Look around. Last 12 months. Gentlemen, do you just not shop? This table doesn't shop. I know. <laughs> Bye. 
go to your website and I absolutely love an article that I read, what do I want to do to be able to provide you with a referral or endorsement? A comment? Share it. Absolutely. Press the button that says share, put a little note on it, have it automatically go to my networks. Important. Everything in digital media is really interesting because it works independently. However, if you put it in the right order and you make sure everything is integrated, everything starts kind of from a, a hub, a central, a central distribution hub, you have the ability to communicate to the world continuously and bring them back. Everything in marketing is about connect and convert. Connect and convert, connect and convert. I have a, a, a motto in my, my business, say I promise to protect and leverage, protect and leverage, two important words, my time, money, resources, relationships, and technology. Do you know what the number one excuse is for people not leveraging digital media? I don't have enough web. Absolutely. How many of you are in sales or advance? You want to arm wrestle. <laughs> okay, how many of you are in sales? How many of you are married? Now I've got a table. Fantastic, you're better than you think. <laughs> All right. Nice, I'm working at it. Okay, so if you're in sales, how many of you find yourself answering the same question over and over and over and over and over again? Raise your hands. So if I make the excuse, I don't have enough time to leverage technology properly. However, I'm in sales and I 100% choose to answer the same question over and over and over again. Do you think that there are more people than just the person on the other side of the phone call or the other side of the table that have the same question? Yes? Whose responsibility is it for you to get more time? Absolutely. Can you get more time? How? Say it again. Work smarter, absolutely. Right now, I'm going to spend 30 minutes in here. The opportunity that I have for my 30 minutes can either just be us connecting, getting to know each other, and so forth, or I can make this a permanent fixed asset in my business that works for me forever. How do I do that? Forever. I can take this 30 minutes and I will generate more business from the 30 minutes I spend here, and I will have a larger audience in this entire room. How do I do that? Look right there. Wave, smile, give me a good sign. Okay, so I digitize everything. I digitize everything. Every top 10 questions, everything a customer wants to know, it is our responsibility if we want to leverage ourselves to digitize that information, digitize that answer, and make it available to the world to see. Do you agree? Who do you think is the best salesperson in my company? Absolutely. What about yours? <laughs> Fantastic. So if you were to take yourself and you were to digitize your best moments, you answering every question that's ever been presented from any potential prospect, you were to digitize it in a video, drop it into a blog, have that blog automatically pushed out to your social media sites, and I'm telling you this is very, very, very easy and inexpensive. That video, what is it going to do as far as the audience that sees it? What's it going to do? It's going to grow, right? Year over year over year, is it going to have compounding interest results or simple interest results? Compounding. My time here, if I was to only spend it in this room and I wasn't to digitize this time here, simple or compound? Simple, absolutely. I digitize it, and on this video, I attach a lead form on a, um, from a CRM system it says if you're interested in getting more information on how to leverage sales supply chain strategies to increase your business, fill out the form below. Now what am I doing? Connect and convert, connect and convert, connect and convert. All too often I see people, especially they'll hear a young social media person come out and talk about a tweet or have Facebook and so forth. My background, I have 15 years in global supply chain uh, strategy as well as operations and logistics. So am I about network crunching? I am a nerd. I try and disguise it. However, I really do. So, however, it is 100% in my book about how I leverage my time, my knowledge, my resources, my investments in order to be able to produce a return. Is that important to you? Yeah. Absolutely. If you could take a thousand of you and you could drop them onto the planet and they could work for you while you slept, would you generate more income? Absolutely. There are three things 
you must have. Actually, we'll go four. If you have a pen, write these down. Number one, you must have the right technology in place. You must have the right technology in place. In today's environment, WordPress is the most powerful platform there is on the planet. WordPress is an integrated website plus blog plus an integration of all the social media platforms. Second thing you must have, the correct strategy. How are you going to use it? It's one thing to own the car, it's another thing to know how to drive it, right? Third thing you must have, the right mindset and behavior. The right mindset and behavior. I don't personally believe that we can sit on the fence and not play this game much longer. I believe we are a few years away from having an entirely different landscape of how business is transacted. In the last five years, how much change have you noticed as it relates to technology? What do you see on the news and the media? Do they still, do they still get their media and, and uh, stories from press releases? What do they get it from? Tweets and Facebook, absolutely. Just a different communication device. And I'm not actually telling you that Facebook and Twitter is the right one. I'm telling you, pay attention to the newest communication devices and learn how to leverage them quickly so that you can reach those audiences. Think about it like this. Actually, in this room, how many of you use a Facebook account? Raise your hands and look around. Fantastic. How many of you use it for business? Look around. How many of you believe you shouldn't use it? Are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many of you would rather watch a video over reading a blog post? Raise your hand. Okay, look around. How many of you would rather read a blog article over watch a video? Look around. How many of you would rather read a headline than a blog article? On my headline people, save time, save space, just get headlines. Okay, that's Twitter. This is the bottom line. I don't need a marketing agency to tell me how business works. I would rather personally learn from a group of soccer moms all day long how they, bought, how they buy, how they shop, how they do their research than a marketing and advertising company any day. I have the ability to go out and talk to audiences around the nation and be able to ask them questions. How do you buy? How do you shop? How do you make your buying decisions? What do you use? What do you not use? So when someone sits down in my office and they say, absolutely, this is not going to work for me, my target audience is X uh, age, it's X financial bracket, it's this type of industry, they don't use it. Where do you think that, that, that comment comes from? I'm going to go back to my answer table. <laughs> <laughs> where, do you, where does it come from? Fear? So what is fear to is old thinking. Typically people base their marketing decisions on what who does. Themselves. They do. My team, of course. Their what they do. Absolutely. I'm telling you today, do not make your marketing decision based on what you like. You must meet people where they are. You must meet people where they are. If you choose to do business as the technology changes, it's going to be very, very critical. So number one, what was I was giving you four items? My ADD kicked in. I'm in control again. I was giving you four items. First item was you must have what in place? My table. Jeez. Okay. The right technology. Second one was right strategy. Third one. Third one. Service, which 
Do you agree? If I gave you the choice right now to either have a paying customer, checkbook open, ready to write, 16 digits in an expiration date, or a strategic partner that has a database full of your ideal clients, but they sell a different product or service, which one would you choose? Which one do people go after? Absolutely. Think about it the next time you stand up when you do your one on or your, your presentation, your 30 second pitch presentation. Think about what you're searching for. If you're searching for the best customer, is that going to serve your business the best over a long term? If you're searching, searching for and you have the ability to identify an incredibly strong strategic partnership, how will that serve your business? Different? Imagine that online. Imagine that online. My strategic partnerships, I specifically go after people who have tremendous built-in networks digitally that are full of my ideal client but they sell a different product or service. Imagine that in a digital environment. If I have the ability to do an interview with them, record a testimonial or record a little scenario, ask them about each other's business. If I am bragging about someone else's business, what are they gonna do with that video? If I got in an hour, I was like, tell me your name. Janelle, what do you do? Say that again. To tell me your name again, is it Janelle? Janelle, what do you do? Okay, so if I got on a video, you and I, and I was like, oh my gosh, you absolutely have got to talk to Janelle. She has an amazing chiropractor company. They've absolutely prepared my back, my arm, my leg, my neck, and my back, and everything. Right? And I get in and I do this video. What is that going to do? What is she going to do with that video? She's going to share it with everyone, absolutely. What does that do for me? She's introducing me to her network. In my world, collaborative marketing is a million times more important than me learning how to market myself. Me learning how to leverage collaborative relationships so that they can endorse me, I can endorse them, I can reach their network, and so forth, in a permanent fixed asset with the lead capture form is more important than anything else. Because I want thousands, 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 thousands of those endorsements out in the networks, answering people's questions, people seeing them, your network seeing them, and then converting into my database. Is that smart? Absolutely. Are you totally overwhelmed? Absolutely. Are you okay? Are you gonna drink later? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll take referral fees, 
on that because I can't work with this. Would that be nice? <laughs> Absolutely. More questions? Things that prevent you from doing this? That was a small sentence. I just gave you half of it. Comfort level. Absolutely. Okay. How do I look now? Okay. How do I sound? I look and sound the same. Whether I'm in a one-person meeting, a phone conference, a conference call, a video, standing in front of a stage, I look and sound identical. If my hair looks bad, guess what? If it's bad in the one-on-one -on -one meeting, we go to it every day too. We have to get over it. That's why I said mindset is critical. Is that fear is critical? You're going to shoot me on video every single day. <laughs> All day, every day. Absolutely. All right, you guys. I hope this is helpful. I know we have a short amount of time. How many of you find this information? Yes. I love that. That's a great question. In today's environment, check this out real quick. WordPress, that platform, it's a content management system. It's probably, my estimation, a billion dollar platform. It has been in development for over 10 years. There's over a million developers that have been developing this platform. For you to implement a website and a blog today, you can have a million dollar piece of technology with a little bit of customization and configuration, and you can have that up for a couple thousand bucks. Not difficult. In today's environment, now, think about the cost of hiring a sales force. If you were to replicate yourself, make a hundred of you, drop them into a platform and then get in front of people, what is the cost difference in between doing something once and allowing it to work for you versus how many people love hiring salespeople? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Not my day, right? So from a cost standpoint, the cost is actually how much is it costing you not to do it right? Because the technology is not expensive. If you put the right tools in place, you can automate it, you can get your time back, you can get your money back, you can replicate yourself, and you can save operationally as well as generate new business as well. Cool? Okay, fantastic. All right, you guys. So I know there's lots more questions people have. What we've done, you guys all have a form in front. I told you, my philosophy is connect and convert. Grab one of these forms from your table. Even your table needs to do this. No, you have pens. <laughs> You're not going to have your hat. Okay. <laughs> did I, did I, see, I don't know. Did I totally pick the wrong table to pick on? This is you guys are born and rare for such a They want to be in the Yes, Okay, on this form, you guys fill out more information. There's a whole bunch of different areas on there. What we've offered to do is to provide each one of you, there's a lot of you. So, with a one hour consultation, really it's for us to learn about your business. Take a look at your website, take a look at your social footprint, take a look at your, your uh, digital footprint, and tell you how you can do better. Our mode of operation is we put together strategic plans. That strategic plan, you can implement it with us, you can implement it with someone else, but at least you walk out with awareness. Where are you now, where do you want to go, and what do you need to do? Like I said, it's a very logistical um, process to go through, and it needs to be done in the right order. I love the fact I don't sell a particular product, so I'm not going to come in and push a website. I don't care. What I do care about is what do you need and in what order do you need it, and that's most important when you're talking to people about marketing. Fill that out. There are two check marks. One says 411, one says 911. If you want to be at the top of the list and go first, put 911. If you, for, never mind. <laughs> I totally go all over the place. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me out. I have Kathy Marshall and Lorenzo Pearson in the room. You guys can get to the phone those forms out. If you, guys, if you guys have business cards, then you, you, you can disregard pulling out the, the top information and just leaving business cards that has the information on it. So we'll leave it quicker for you. Perfect. Cool? Cool. Thank you. I appreciate you.